Hello there, my fellow great Yuan lovers. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover. And right now, we need to talk about Jalama, who has passed on to the next life. Today, the warlord turned military commander and national hero known as Jalama has passed away due to, due to his old age and declining health. A grand and lavish funeral has been held for him in Ugra, with people in his hometown in Kalmykia, Kamilkia also paying tribute to this wandering warrior. As we lay his body to rest under the open skies, remains shall become one with a step as his Tulku soul moves from his vessel, this vessel, to the next, beginning the cycle anew. May his spirit come back to us once again. No. But honestly, like, this has been not that bad. I mean, we've lost a lot of guys, don't get me wrong, like a quarter million. But with getting all this compliance for, like, from China, we're not, we're, we're mobilizing. Holy crap. We have a core population of under 12 million, while we have a total population of, like, 620 million. Seems a little busted, but that's alright. We've gotten rid of uh, 900,000 Russians, uh, not too many of the Ukrainians, which who they've lost a lot too, and not too many of the Tsardom of Bulgaria, but as, as you can see, like, they ain't doing so well. I mean, we're doing pretty darn well, and we're just pushing, 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 and actually how many divisions they have, up to 72 max, while Germany is doing quite well against them now, even though they're still sort of losing against a third international, but they got lucky that they're holding here at the Rhine, so, haha. <laughs> we'll see what happens, even though they are getting naval invaded, which sucks for them, but the Moscow Accords are just... It's falling apart for them. And I wish these guys would move around a little bit more. <coughs> Excuse me. But, like, we're almost in Sarritsen. This is a little insane. How far we've had to push. Just to do get over here, so. And they do have some, like, divisions over here, but I'm not really too worried about that. Uh, yeah, it just, it's been a little nuts. Like, we've been doing really well. Right now, we're doing We Are One. So, let's take a look. I forget exactly what we've done, the focus is, but... Mixed division training. Simple conscription will not make those men we have conquered work with us. A simple project has been proposed where people from different tribes and countries are placed under the supervision of a Mongolian officer. It is hoped that creating such mixed divisions will hopefully will pacify the conquered people, at least for now. And we are one. Preliminary results of our mixed divisions have come through in a promising fashion. We may therefore treat this as a confirmation for the project to be implemented. But my apologies for this in a, every territory we occupy. Also, uh, I did ask you guys what should our intelligence agency name should be. You guys came up with some good stuff, but I do want to go with... Uh, what is it? Keshig. Which, according to you guys, was the guard unit for Genghis Khan when he used to live and was roaming around and having a good old time. And now we own Saritsyn. As we should. Hmm, I love it. But yes, and then followed up with Barons of the Steps after we get some support weapons. It is 42. We're doing, I would say, quite well. Like, I would say this has been one heck of a campaign, but this is, it's, obviously this is Kaiser Redux, or Kaiser or whatever, or it's a Reich, you know, game, but like, it's getting laggier and laggier, but... Oh, well. And I threw these guys on just because I want more soft attack. Like, I want so much soft attack. Can it help us out? We're gonna do this as well. We just we just gotta get more. I just want more soft attack. I just wanna just blow up our enemies as much as possible. Look how laggy it is. My goodness. Holy crap. That is insanely bad. <sighs> eh, I guess my name is Spiky. Spicy Sporker, huh? Cool. And let's do that too. Thank you. Toad Rocket Artillery, thank you. We need way more support equipment right now. It sucks. But we, because we have more rubber, we're kind of okay on a lot of stuff. We have some planes. Central America's gone. Um, any more losses yet? Not really too much. Ukraine is just about to fall apart. We've killed off more Russians than the Germans have, which is awesome. Ah, there goes Brazil. Goodbye, Brazil. Yeah, overall. Like, that's not too bad. And I might want to attack the Istanbul pack. We'll see. I do want to take out Afghanistan, though. The Georgian Kingdom is gone. Goodbye, Georgian Kingdom. How long will this take to go to war with them? <coughs> a little bit of lag. Oh, that's that's quite a bit of lag. Holy crap. Uh, that's, quite a, that's quite a while. That kind of sucks, I'll be honest. Come on, get rid of them. Oh. That's competing machine. Grab some better radar. Nice. After this one, we're just going to grab some better anti-air. You might as well, right? Might as well. Cool. Hope you guys are having a pretty good day. I'm doing okay myself. I guess we're not using anti-air. Huh, are we? And we do have some ships we could use, but... Mm, Probably not going to use them. But another comment was, uh, yeah, I do give some territory to the AI. If I think it's, like, in a way, balanced enough that I shouldn't get everything, yeah, I will give territory away. Like, it just, it makes more sense. And I don't want to have to be too gamey, I guess you could say, so. Moscow, help unroute, uproot some more entrenchment. That'd be great. Guys, please keep going. Please keep going. I don't know if they can really stop us now, can they? Of course not. Improved heavy hole would be nice, but whatever. Give more, more combos, which I don't understand why it's... Wait, hello. That's awkward. You can do 15 like that? That's weird. Okay, well, whatever. 
Let's see. Someone says, I sh there should be an event to buff the, the United States Civil War states if they get navally invaded by someone else or someone else declares won them. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. Um, oh, there's Ukraine. New England's doing quite well, but then again, it's the Entente. What do you expect? Yeah, I don't like what they're doing, but whatever. Yeah, that's not bad. German Empire. Nice. We have quite a few divisions, so. I hope we can do well pretty much everywhere we go. 40 million. 40 million and a half. How close are the capitulation? They gotta be close at this point, right? <coughs> Excuse me. There you go. Alrighty. Okay, do this first. Take out this division. There's still one division here, so just take them out. I'm not sure to be lefty. Actually, actually, that the division probably left. Oh, and we have this one. Baron of the Steps. Yes. Uh, the Steps are a harsh land to govern with their vast distances. Yet, let all who are within this land know the name of the benefactor, their leader. Baron Ungern von Sternberg is, is who the people of the Steps have to thank for restoring order, giving more cavalry attack and defense, and more uh, recruitable population factor. Nice. Horse guy? Cool. Thanks for showing up. And now you. Not the other guy, unfortunately, but whatever. He just had to die. Any upgrades for these guys? I mean, I wish we'd be moving faster. If we can take Moscow, like, that's that's a bit ridiculous. But we'll do it anyways, because we can probably. That'd be cool if we could beat up Germany as well, but... We've got plans. Who is this? Illyrian Sovereign... Or Soviet Republic. Oh, okay. But after Baron of the Steps, what are we going to do? Let's do... We still need to take the legation cities. Destroy them, yeah. Claim the German colonies? Declares war on AOG. That might not be too bad. This one doesn't seem like there's very much here for us. Strike at the Caucasus? Yeah, I'll probably do this one. With the Russians' humble bar maj majesty, we can turn our attention to the remaining unconquered step lands. The Cossacks have a great many resources. We should take them. Yeah, we probably should. But we'll also destroy the legation city soonish. Uh, I'll lose this one. Kenti seems. New sources of vital materials have been discovered in the mountains of Kenti. Supposedly the bureau place of Kengis Khan the first. We must capitalize on this discovery and begin efforts. Two. Uh, oh yes. Be develop, develop our minds there. Well, we got Moscow. We got them. All right. So look. Oh yeah, we don't deserve any of the book. Let's just do this real quick. Um. I don't mind seeing a strong Austria. Albania. Do you deserve any of this stuff? Uh, is Greece here? Let's take a look see. <coughs> no, I don't see them either. Alright, Austria, you can have them all. I don't really care about Bulgaria. Cool. Um, Ukraine, I'll get that to Germany, because that seems like it should just be German. Malta, no. Who's that? United Baltic Dutch looks like an awesome flag. Honestly, I'd love to own this, but give it to Germany as well for now. I'll be, f I'll like, honestly, we, at this point, we won't just take it all. Like, seriously, like, I don't mind sharing, but, like, if it wasn't for us, Germany would be already be dead. So, like, whatever. Uh, Mad Baron Unified, or Unites Russia. I'll... Almata Atta has fallen. Alma Atta. The stronghold of Alma Atta has fallen. We have the opportunity to punch the rebellious populace and gain loot for our victorious hordes. Uh, let's lose lust a bit in that. We, he finally did it. My name is surrounded with such hate and fear that no one can judge what is the truth and what is false. What is history and what is myth. Nice. This looking not too bad. Oh, a little bit of lag. Oh, I think the Germans are releasing Ukraine probably. Or Bulgaria is being released by the Austrians. So, and... Yep, that was Ukraine. He looks kind of cool. It would be a real shame for the Germans if we attacked him right now. What do you have here? Flash Orda, Silence of Super Events, Baron of the Steps. We'll do a Strike of the Cos Cossacks next. So, um, realistically, like, uh, I don't want all of you doing that. Take you guys. You're all literally just still 40 combo with, so you should be able to do this pretty easily. Uh, there you go, too. Take you guys who are here, too. Thank you. And you guys come to Afghanistan, because everyone loves Afghanistan, right? Right. Nice. Uh, we will probably take the Ottoman Empire. So, our last order. Our last order has been brought under control as their troops occupy the region. We must not decide what to do with it. 
Yeah, no. Fate of Transamir? Our armies have managed to take control of Transamir, and it's now occupied by us. We have a few options now. We can either pop the land or take it for ourselves, seeing as it possesses a key strategic position in East Asia. What should we do? Ah, uh, we'll take it. And Fate of Russia. After a long fight with the Russians, say we've launched a full offensive and forced the Russian armed forces to surrender. Uh, Moscow is now in our hands, and the fate of the Russian nation with it. Balkanize, liberate. I don't care about our stability. Doesn't really matter to me too much. What do you mean? Fate of Russia. Why do we have to do this again? Okay, that's BS. Fate of Siberia? Um, with noble Nikolayevsk in our hands, we now control Siberia and are able to decide what to do with the rest of the lands. Who needed stability? Man. Let me just speed this up a little bit more. We only have 46 million manpower, that's all. Germany is maybe pushing them back, actually, huh? <coughs> not bad. Italian Federation. You guys are still not killing each other yet, huh? Nice sunglasses, Togliati. Versus Julius IV. He seems very stern and angry. He's a national populist, of course, but he's pretty good for political power every day. What do you have? Nothing? Okay. Whatever. Now the Germans better be thankful that we basically saved them. Interwar bombers. What if we got some fighters? Oh, what if we got some lag? Hello. Oh, is Bulgaria getting liberated? They might be. Uh, it's so bad I don't see my blue mouse wheel spinning at the time of me saying this. So I apologize for all this lag. This should not... This is one of my biggest problems with Kaiser Act or Kaiser Redux. It's all lag. But I'll see you when it gets finished. All right, everyone. So right now, here we are. We've actually pretty much taken out all of Afghanistan, which is not too difficult to do. But we've also decided to attack the Caucasus, which is going <coughs> really mixed right now. Really mixed. Oh, Afghanistan. Thank you for playing. Is Afghanistan, no problem to take out this area. A little bit more of a problem to take out. So, but that's all right. Things happen. If we really wanted to, we could probably start getting ready to invade the Ottoman Empire too. I think that would be great. Uh, what else do we have down here? Anything else? Uh, um, yep, we did justify on them. It only took 25 days, so that's not too bad, actually. Do it again, just in case. Um, yeah, we're not doing great against here, or against people here. What? The okay, they lost, they lost a hundred, holy crap! Holy fathers! I don't know why I start saying, like, holy fathers, but, like, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage, son. Over here, we're doing so much damage to him as well. Victor... We got a lot of manpower still, but, you know, my goodness. 38,000 versus a quarter million? Jesus Christ. I mean, our cavalry is not, like, weak at all, but, like, they're really giving us a run for our money. But once these guys start falling, they're really going to start dying off really quickly. Level 9 attack. That's not enough. <laughs> oh, oh, we're overrunning a lot of them. Look at that. Oh, 400,000 died. I mean, they don't really care, but still, I do. And if it's a grind, so be it. I'm... <laughs> 50,000 manpower when we have 52 million is nothing. Also, we did like just say, like, we're gonna eat everybody. It's the fate of Central Asia. Following a campaign in the steps of Central Asia, we now control Soviet territories of former states of that region. Local leaders and own politicians are petitioning the, for the autonomy of these areas. Several solutions have been proposed, ranging from the complete partition of the region and up to five states to the amalgamation to a single Asian station, Central Asian Federation. What should we do? Military occupation. Fate of Afghanistan. After a long fight with the Afghans, oh, look at that. We have launched a full offensive and forced the Afghan army to surrender and flee to the mountains. Kabul and the major roads are now in our hands, but the countryside is rallying against us. We might have a larger fire in our hands should we attempt to occupy the so-called graveyard of empires. Heck, we're going to do it. Only minus 44% stability because I decided to annex everything else, so whatever. We've only lost 60,000 versus not a million. Jesus. Wow. Wow. God, I love these horses. Oh, oh, it's devastating. Oh, it's so nice to see. It just warms your heart when you see that, man. Doesn't it? Does it not? And Fate of Stan. Turkestan has been brought under our control as the troops occupy the region. Just, just occupy it. Doesn't matter. Also, like, a lot of these just autocomplete, so if you don't know about that, please go ahead. Strike the Caucasus, too. Um, Vladikazak. Um, our ancestors once crushed the upstart men of the mountains. We shall repeat their efforts and see the riches of the Caucasus for ourselves. Cancel non aggression pact. What the heck are you doing, son? Strike at the Caucasus. Nice. Can we not do this one? Oh, we're doing the other one. That's right. Cool. Um, honestly, I just want to kill off the Ottomans. 
I don't trust the Germans though, since they said they want to kill us off, so... Yeah, we'll see about them. They want to hurt us? We'll hurt them back. We'll hurt them straight back. I'm wondering if we could just, like, send a bunch of guys. Actually, it, who's in the right back? Ah, you guys are as well. I thought they were. But, fate to Kiva. Kiva's been brought under control as our troops occupy the region. We must not decide what to do with it. Why do we have to deal with all this stuff? Um, if you want to about that, please go ahead. Kamilkia? Conquer the Buddhist enclave of Kamilkia. As the flag rises high above Elitsi, or Elista, we must decide what to do with these strange lands. We can either incorporate them directly into our state, further expanding our nation into the Volga, past the edges of the Northern Caucasus, or grant them autonomy and save ourselves as the headache of Buddhist and Cossack resistance. We already know which one we're going to do in the fate of the Mountain Republic. The Alpine Fortress that is the Mountain Republic. <clears throat> It's finally been cracked open. Even now, more of our troops pour into caverns and steep mountain passes, flushing the remaining Caucasus separatists from the rat nests. We can either leave this region to own its own devices under an autonomous regime, or try ourselves to directly tame these wild crags and peaks, but these mountains and their people have always proved to be stubborn at best. Fate of Kuban. The great state of Kuban now lies within our hands, allowing our troops to gaze over out of the Black Sea as the new masters of the coastline. Filled with unruly Russian and Ukrainian speaking minorities, it might be the best to give the Kuban some sense of autonomy. On the other hand, directly integrating them could prove rather useful, given their location and resources. How should we proceed? And fate of the Kuban. After a short campaign across the Kuban Plains, the Don Kuban Union finally capitulated, leaving us with the control of the country. We must now decide what to do with it. Why do we have minus 72% stability? This literally makes no sense to me, but whatever. I don't want to kill these guys off too, because you might as well, right? Because you guys keep threatening us, and I don't want to be threatened by pieces of garbage. Why don't we just go to war with them right here, right now? Can you guys actually win here? Can 24 divisions just destroy Ottoman divisions? Maybe? I don't know. Jabal Shimad, huh? Nice. Nice. Do that too. Because we have no access to here, which is fine with us, but... Uh, Muscat, watch out. Muscat's been called in. Watch out. These guys might be more difficult to take out, but how much, how much manpower do they actually have? That's fine, guys. Germany is pushing them back, so... You know what? If Germany can push them back, and then we can attack them, because they have literally no manpower, that would give us a lot of territory. A lot of territory to work with. Now, the Ottomans, I'm sure, should have quite a few guys, right? Check out the Caucasus would be good. They have up to 134. So we have 24 attacking them. 134 is attacking not bad. Could be better. Could be worse. And we do have horses, so. So we got the Caucasus and the Spirit of Genghis. Our vast conquests have expanded the borders of Mongolia to stretch across Eurasia. The steppe plains in eastern China are under our control. Land previously thought near impossible to unify, however. Sternberg's tactical brilliance and divine strength have forged wild fantasies of the Mongolian nationalists into reality. His vision for a revived Mongol Empire is stronger than ever, and he has restored the Spirit of Genghis. As he should. Alright, so the losses against these guys. Whoa! Okay, they lost 900,000 against Egypt. Okay, that, that was like, whoa. Really against us? Egypt lost 1.2 million. Oh, if they can push in. Oh, we get all of Egypt too? That'd be so good. Keep going, KM. General KM. Keep learning. You're doing great. You're doing great, son. Just keep it up. Get some more air bases here too, because we can really, really use that airbase immediately. <coughs> that'd be quite bueno. Can we fight a two-front war like this? Can we really fight a two-front war? I want to see if these guys can actually beat up the French. I would love to see that. Let's go do this anyways. And we, we have more than enough political power for now, so... Just focus on killing them off. Because if we get these guys done first, then take out... No, just it'd be so good. Just so good. Nice. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Very good, very good. We lost 6,000. We've killed off a quarter million of them. Cows are killing a quarter millions of enemies. How much manpower does it come into France? Because they Germans have none. Yeah, they're still gonna lose probably. They don't. I guess they're mobilizing more, but still. Go go go! Oh, the PSA joined the Entente. Well, that's good for them, I guess. Hey, level six attack, nice. American sleeping giant is awakened. We're a cavalry expert. Need more defense, but makes more sense for what we're doing for our purposes right now. So, medium tanks. Cool. Get some more. Nice. And make sure we get some more bombers and such, because I just want to make sure we've got nothing but, like, lots of planes, lots of cast, just raining heck on enemies. Okay, we're out of cast. God dang it. I like cast too much. They're, like, my default to go to. Of course, then we, got, we already have 300-some cast planes already on these guys, so... Yeah, that ain't bad. When in doubt, just, just cast it up. <coughs> Kind of sucks that these guys are, you know, they're doing all right, but still. Attrition, not bad. 
up to 83 divisions max. We've lost 12,000 so far. God, I want to kill these guys off. Can they actually win here? Like, I don't want to wait any longer. I really don't. Just go in. Just, just let the hordes in. You thought you were going to have peace? Nonsense. If we have to split up Germany into two, so be it. Nice. We should just be able to just march straight in. How is... It's 43 Spain. God, why is Spain still killing itself? It's fine. That's just so sad. But after this one, we'll probably do... Uh, claim the German colonies? We could. Um, it was always a disgrace that the people of the plains tolerated colonial rule over the sovereign lands. We should re soon rectify this uh, state of affairs. Holy crap. Go to war with AOG? AOC? Something like that? Yeah, I think we already have a lot of that stuff. Maybe not yet, but like, bro. Sure, guys. Sure, why not? Cool story, bros. But we'll do Spirit of Genghis as well, so. Anything else here? No? Anything else here? Yes? Keep going. Ah, there's a lot of guys on there too, but whatever. Um, just keep going. Like, we'll be doing fine here. Nice. Hey, what return has got? Wow. We've got some more stacks, don't we? Well, Germany, you're screwed regardless now. As we're pushing into the Middle East as well. Jesus. This is kind of nuts, not going to lie. It's kind of kind of crazy. I thought we'd do a lot worse than this, but I didn't realize there's still a war with Egypt, which is kind of nuts. It's 43. What have the Ottomans been doing this entire time? Oh. Okay, then. Well, that kind of sucks. Some kind of... Sort of random, honestly. So these guys are going to finish these guys off first, and then we'll finish off down there, so yeah. Not really too worried about it, though, as you can tell. Ah, it goes to Ukraine, that's good. Genghis Khan, nice. Well, they made their choice. So we're going to make our own. Nice, I said level 9 was too, too little, and I was right. Level 10 is where it's at. What the heck? Why did we lose this territory? Lithuania, which is pretty nice. Wow, you pieces of garbage. You stupid Azerbaijanians. How dare you. Oh, wow. We're, we're literally on the border of Königsberg. That's kind of insane. Go in! Don't you love it when just a bunch of guys on horses just show up to Königsberg and are just like, Hey, die. I love it. I personally love it. Why are we throwing them all the way over there? That literally makes no sense right now. Yeah, go right there. Which doesn't make any sense either, but don't question me. Plastic explosives, we like them plasticky. Like my explosives, how we like my girls. Plasticky? Hmm. Yeah, other side of the continent. There goes Finland. Thanks for playing, Finland. Thank you. You doing alright over there? You kinda going crazy over there. Oh, wait, oh, we... Honestly, like, I was struggling in the second episode. I was really not enjoying it, but, like... This might be a little OP. Maybe. And there goes Warsaw. Jesus Christ. We've, what, 20, 12, 40 divisions on the front line? And we're still... We're pushing into Lutz or whatever? Even their tanks can't stop us, can they? No, we can pierce their tank divisions. Jesus. I love it. Now, who else is here? Azerbaijan, Armenia... As we should do. And we're pushing in from the side too now. Nice. Wow, we've... You see we don't have that many divisions around here. Yeah, we're still pushing in super well. Oh, that's not good too. Oh, oh we're finding them as well. Oh, whatever.
I'm gonna need to call you guys back up here. Just in case, maybe. Or you just go really fast and go through everything. That well, sucks to be these guys. Look at that. It's alright. Um, more propaganda? Yeah, why not? Because we can. Because we're worth it. Sorry, Germany, but it's gonna be what it's gonna be. You guys come down here, too. This is... This is a bit extreme. Riyadh? Alright, well, there goes those guys. Fall of Berlin. It only took some guys from literally Mongolia to take them out. Leonid, how you doing? Cavalry experts as you should be. Nice. Just building a lot of cities and a lot of other stuff, so... Nothing can stop the Mad Baron. Is he really that mad? Maybe. Maybe he is that mad. We need to go with war with Austria? I'd love to do that. <coughs> I don't think anyone can really stop us from here on out, so... This is probably one of the... I don't know, just... Collapse of the Rex back. Oh god, here comes the lag again. I apologize, man. Oh, that's not too bad, actually. Well, alright. They uh, The French will get the Benelux. Um... Ukraine will take. Uh, you know, Britain, you get Ireland. You guys will get the Kingdom of Morocco. We'll take Finland and Denmark. You can have Malta. We get this one. That one. Give this to the Dutch East Indies. Obviously, we'll take this stuff. And the rest of this because it makes more sense. Alright, and then Germany will be divided up between us too, hopefully. Hopefully. Um. Alright, we can't reclaim. Oh, AOG is still here, huh? Interesting. Well. Alright. Really, that's really all you really deserve. I mean, honestly, like, let's go and turn into god awful borders anyways. We might just take the rest of this, so. Yeah. Let's see what happens. We didn't need stability, anyways, right? Stability is a lie. The fall of Germany. And end of an arrow. Um, if you want to read it through these, please go right ahead. So. Expulsion of Germany from China. If you want to read this, please go ahead. Finland, Denmark, Georgia, Latvia, bit of Germany, bit of Sweden, what, Ruthenia, Ukraine, nice. The Chinese triumph, huh? Can we hurry up down here? I can just kill them all off. Ooh, there's gonna be a lot of lag now, but whatever, it's fine. It's fine, whatever. Oh, serious here too, look at that. Oh, that's pretty cool. Keep pushing, keep pushing. I do want to take out the Austrians if we possibly can do that very quickly. Because we still need to do with these guys as well, so... Ah, uh, I hate the AOG, man. It's alright. There you go. A little bit of lag. Alrighty tidy. You guys are doing what? Dutch Revolution. Nice. Hijaz, come back over here and just keep going. Oh, look, they're actually liberating these guys. Yeah, maybe we could do that by now. Alright, and there we go. Everyone worry about these guys, please go ahead. Nope. Rhineland? Nope. 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 Commune of Luxembourg. 
Flemish Communal Republic. B Batavian stuffy stuff. And oh, oh. All right. Well, I don't know. Why do we peace out with these guys? That literally makes no sense. If anything, this one should be owned by us. This doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Take all of Azerbaijan if we can. That'd be great. Bros, just go. Take Constantinople if you can. And if you want to talk about Prussia, please go right ahead. And Azerbaijan, please go right ahead. How long is this going to take? Oh, no political power. I got Constantinople, which is pretty nice. North Germany? Nope. That's stupid, man, but whatever. Makes sense, I guess. I'll be honest, I think we're pretty much done. Just sort of legation cities? Legation cities have been sat there squatting on the coast as a reminder of foreign power. For many years, we shall seize them up as soon as possible. And that's it. All right, then. And that's probably the last thing we'll do, so. Fade Vanatolia? Nope. Go in as fast and as hard as you possibly can. Um, yeah, I mean, we could conquer pretty much everybody if we really wanted to. This actually is not too bad. So if you've never played as Mongolian Empire like this, I'd probably recommend it. That's pretty fun, actually. I don't give it to Iraq. We don't... What?! Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm just annexing these guys. We, we, we literally took these guys out. Give me all these stupid areas, you pieces of garbage. Do not do this type of crap to us. This literally makes no sense. Why are they getting free? Uh, I can deal with Syria not being with under us and these guys as well. But, like, all these other areas literally makes no sense. We literally got them fair and square. So, yeah. Persia? That's so stupid. Hey, a lot of green, though. I like the green. Green's pretty nice. <coughs> good, good, good. I don't know how these guys popped out. Like, we literally took them all out. I don't know... I think they even existed anymore. Burkina Faso, very good. Guys, can you hurry up? All of you going right now. This should be done by now already. These guys are really bad. There you go. Go ahead. Alright. And come up here too. Just help us kill these guys all off. And technology doesn't really matter. So, as you can tell, this is probably the last episode of this campaign, which has been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun overall. Um, if you're worried about Iraq, please go ahead. Good. Nice. Go ahead, guys. Like, we're probably losing a lot of guys. Oh, not that much. 10,000, that's not bad. 130,000, that's not bad. Send them all in. <clears throat> Come on. Kill them off. There's really not that many guys left here. Come on. I don't think we'll actually be able to expel them all yet. Well, we still might be able to get to it, maybe. If we really hurry up. Oh, crap, now we're going to war with the I forgot about that, whatever. Um, if you want to re oh, reestablish the Ilakhanate. As they did our namesake, we should consider establishing a clan state in Persia. They would make a better use of local territories, lifting a burdensome administrative load off our shoulders. Eh, we'll see what happens. I'm honestly not too worried about it, but, you know, whatever. Uh, but if you want to read about... Okay, stop it. Read about these, please go right ahead. Boom, 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 boom. 
I really don't feel like reading these. They're just kind of generic air stuff, so. So, they're all just pretty generic air stuff. Can you just win? My god. I guess we are fighting these guys too, but. As you can tell, it's not looking that bad for us. It's looking pretty good, actually. Obviously, there's going to be areas like the Raj killing us, but I don't really care, I'll be honest. I mean, this is pretty much over at this point. There you go. Xing Tao, they should be dead now. Nice. Go ahead. Romani's gone too. Shanghai will fall. Nice. Nice. How are you guys doing over here? Struggling a little bit? That's okay. I get a fortress buster. Wow, well, Bulgaria's gone. Awesome. Yeah, we're just... It's kind of a massacre at this point. There's Bohemia as well. Nice. Follow Shanghai. Keep going, guys. We got more than enough manpower for all this stuff. <coughs> this is looking pretty good, too. Yeah, America just is di divided forever. Holy crap, that sucks. 1.54 million losses. Malian Commune is gone. All right. Albania is gone. Do you want to help out here or just kind of stand there, you dinguses? Any upgrades? No. And yes. These guys are not considered infantry, so that's fine. How are you guys doing over here? Oh, Hungary's almost gone, which is what I really wanted to get out of this stuff. Yay! Hungary's gone. <coughs> and go back to Asia now. Yeah, you can try to run, but you ain't gonna succeed. Nice, and then we'll get this area too, which would be good. And then Hong Kong again. Yeah, I don't really care about the Raj. As you can tell, I don't really care. He's done? No, you ain't. Um, honestly, it wouldn't be probably that difficult to take these guys out either, but still. Let's get at least... Oh, check. Hey! Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Looking not too shabby. But I think that's probably where we're going to end it here. Just because there's not much else here. Um, let's get rid of that. Let's do FA. There you go. It's fine. As long as they're under us, that's what I really care about. Come on. Oh my god. I hate this lag. Like, Kaiser Redux, Kaiser Reich. For the love of god, I wish the devs would watch and just, like, fix the fix lag if possible. Like, I get it. Like, it's probably really difficult to do. But Equestria War figured out how to do that, so... Equestria War, it's just... It's such a well-made mod. I really need to go back to it sometime. So... Cool, I think that's it, right? Nice, yep. Well, let's see what this is. The El Khanate. The by Oh, Mohammed Alim Khan. Very awesome. And you're back, Afghanistan. Uh, Afghanistan. Uh, well, maybe it's Afghanistan, but I think it's more like Khanate. But hey, I think that'll end us here for today. If you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous rest of your day.